The different zones on a court help us to identify where we start a set and how we rotate throughout the match. They also aid in giving us visual locations for when we go back to serve. The zones go from one to six and make a counterclockwise path from right back to middle back, and they're equal in surface area. For serving purposes, they give players dedicated locations that the players can visualize and aim for in order to maximize their serving potential. We like to serve zone one if the setter has a tough time setting, opening up, and squaring to target, or in rotation one when the setter is even with the passing lanes. We like to serve zone six or five if the outside or another weaker passer is in the serve receive. Our serve short to zone two, three, and four, force a middle to take a ball, clog up the offense in a certain rotation, or take an outside hitter out of the offense because they have to move forward to pass and transition back to their full approach. Another great way to identify where to serve is a system based on seams of the passers. If you ask a passer, the hardest ball to pass is in the seam. This is because it's far outside of their body and they have to move their feet and extend their arms, all while deciding if the ball is for them or another passer. This trouble disrupts the serve receive and is an efficient tactic used by the serving team. In a standard serve receive, we have three passers that normally take an equal amount of the court in the back row. If we're looking at the passers from left to right, we see a seam between the sideline and the passer. This is our seam one. Your coach can either put the one up or down to show where you're serving in that seam. The number goes down for short seam and up for deep seam. Next, between the passer on your left and the middle passer is seam two. Then seam three splits the middle and the right passers. And finally, four is the space from the right passer to the sideline. Understanding serving zones and seams helps us be strategic with our serve. We rarely want to serve directly to zone six as it doesn't disrupt serve receive. A successful serve, whether it's short to a specific zone or to a seam, is one that makes passers have to think, move outside of their starting position, or make a harder move to transition from passing to hitting.